So if you can recall, uh, did your father ever receive the newspaper daily when uh, he was a child, or when you were a child? Oh yeah, when I was a kid, uh, we always got the daily paper. Mm -hmm. And what was your favorite part about reading the paper? Well, I was a newspaper. I, weekends, I liked the uh, comics on the Sunday paper, but when I was a little kid, it was during World War II, and there was all kinds of graphic pictures of the war in the paper all the time. So, looking back as you were a child, and then when you started like growing up in television and music and and the radio, all this is like evolving. Do you remember ever noticing the, no the, the newspaper like slowly going into the background? Or was the newspaper still a big thing to you? Well, papers have always been, been a big thing to me, and they still are. First thing I do in the morning after we feed the cats is usually we get up about 6.30 in the morning, feed the cats, uh, get the paper, and go back and sit in bed and, and read the paper for, read it front to back. Oh wow, so do you look at the newspaper on like your, your, your tablets or anything or, or computers at all or do you solely rely on the actual newspaper itself? I rely on the newspaper itself. Okay, cool. Um, I mean, if I go online uh, to AOL.com, which is my home page, uh, I frequently scroll down through the news stories on there, but they're they're very shallow compared to reading the same story in the paper. I mean, you've got a few lines instead of uh, uh, a couple of columns to read on any given news story. So, would you say, um, like, has the newspaper changed? Uh, have you noticed anything, any changes in the newspaper as opposed, like, from when you're growing up as opposed to now? Oh, the newspapers have been shrinking in the last ten years. I mean, they're the cost situation in producing papers is not good. I mean, they're not making money and... Would you say that's probably because of how our media has has changed so Yeah. Much? It, I mean, there are generations coming up that don't read the newspaper. They re retire, rely entirely on electronic media. And some people rely entirely on their smartphones for news. So do you, do you remember the first time, um, because as you told us, your dad bought the newspaper, do you remember the first time where you actually subscribed to a newspaper? Were you a young adult? Were you... Oh, it was probably when I... The first time I ever subscri subscribed myself was when I moved to... Buffalo on my first job mm -hmm. out of college. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what the paper name was? There were two papers. There was the Buffalo Evening News and there was a morning paper. And I, I don't remember what the name of the morning paper was. Mm -hmm. Well, did you get the morning or the evening? We got them both. Okay. So when you subscribed, you got both? Yeah, they were put out by the same company. and. I mean, I guess you could pay less and get just one of them, but it was nice to read the news in the morning while you're eating breakfast, and then when you got home at night, you could pick up the evening paper and see what had happened during the day. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, so you'd have your paper in the morning and your paper in the evening. Would you supplement um, the news with anything else, like maybe listening to the radio or turning on the TV, or for you personally, was the newspaper the most powerful form? Of the newspaper was most powerful. I mean, if I was ri driving to work in my car, my car had a radio in it, so you know, I'd listen to whatever was available uh, on the radio. But I don't remember. Well, as a real little kid, I remember sitting around as a family on Sunday evenings and with a big box radio and the corner of the room and everybody would sit around and listen to, to Jack Benny or mm -hmm. Charlie McCarthy or there were these serials that ran 
comedies that ran every Sunday night and they were a big deal to everybody. Mm-hmm. And you sat around and looked at your radio. Huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The same experience basically as sitting around watching television in the old days. And, mm-hmm. and some of the first uh, television programs were a continuation of the radio programs. Mm-hmm. They just showed you the program being made. I mean, the, with some animation. Mm -hmm. It was very crude in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Um, From what we've we've heard, the reason you use media is really to stay up to date with uh, more so the news than really anything else. Would that be a correct assessment for you? It's your way to- Well, news in in all its aspects, I mean. Right. I mean, I buy buy magazines too. Mm I don't enjoy reading magazines on on a tablet. Right, a little screen. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. I mean, I guess the only news magazine we get anymore is Time. I mean, they're they're sort of disappearing, but right. but we get things like Architectural Digest and mm-hmm. Consumer Reports, and mm-hmm. that's strictly news about stuff. I mean, if you're going to buy something, uh, they have reports on what the best buy is and what the worst buy is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're, to this day, a much bigger fan of print. uh, Yeah, I mean, this is... Digital. This is a weekly, a free weekly newspaper here, and this is my favorite thing to read in the whole world. Mm -hmm. Tells everything you want to know about what's going on in Richmond, mm-hmm. entertainment-wise. I mean, it tells what's going on in every art gallery, every museum. Uh, it lists the movies, uh, reviews restaurants, mm-hmm. tells you what's going on at the theaters, and mm-hmm. and, and puts. I mean, you can get this kind of news. It, it has a lot of news about local politics too. I mean it's quite opinionated and Mm -hmm. and it's I guess it would be considered and most everything in there is factual but it's uh, certainly leaning toward the liberal but So do you I did I guess to kind of wrap things up do you think you're such a big fan of print material because you grew up in a time where it was predominantly given to you as a newspaper, as a book, as a magazine? Oh, probably. Mm-hmm. It just, you, you're so used to interacting with it that it's what you know, it's what you grew up with, so that's why you'd continue with it rather than fully moving to digital. There's an experience you have with paper that you just don't share with the internet. No, I think that's right. I mean, I mean this tells you what's going on for the next, it comes out on Wednesday and it tells you what's going on in town for the next seven days. Mm -hmm. I mean, music festivals, uh, food festivals, what a, and so it's valid for seven days. I mean, if I get up tomorrow and it turns out to be a bright sunny day, well I don't want to stay home and work in the yard, I'll let's see what's going on and I'll pick that up I mean and just flip through it and and look under Sunday and it'll list everything that's going on on Sunday Mm -hmm. I mean from concerts at churches to 10k runs uh, in the park or it's just there Mm -hmm. if I tried to look up the same information on on a tablet, I'd have to work for it, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice. I mean, here it's uh, actually will all be on one page. I mean, it, mm-hmm. so you think if more people knew that they could find everything in one place and actually have it accessible at their fingertips rather than just searching the internet, do you think people would flock back to newspapers if they actually saw the value of having that information? I don't know. I frankly doubt it. 
I think in many ways people are lazier than they used to be. Mm-hmm. They want, want everything to come easy. Mm-hmm. And the internet makes that much easier. Yeah, but more superficial.